I'm back in Tennessee looking for red band darters to kick off this little day and a half trip. Right now though it looks like I've got some possibly Tennessee shiners down here, although it could be um, the uh, rainbows. Love to get a rainbow in a different spot. Love to get, you know, whatever this is. Yeah, really small. Mm, they're swarming it and not taking it. There's much bigger ones over there. I don't know if they're the right, they're the same kind though. There's a little lip for possible darter hiding spots, so I'll try it over here. Don't think they're going to stick around for me, but oh no, they're, they're not spooking too badly. Just hanging out. Oh. It's the dark color of the rocks down there. Give them a little. What is happening? Hmm. Okay, that was a really easy, easy pick right there, and I missed it. Oh, wow. Dog on it. <laughs> I am so slow on the hard, fast uh, hits. Um, and I just keep on doing that. I'm not getting them, but I got them that time. Let's see. Um, oh. It's like a silvery minnow. That's not, I don't think that is a Tennessee. Interesting. That I can't, it's like my bait is disappearing in the swarm. So I can't see when one's taking it. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna watch the, there we go, sinker. And this. Um. Probably the same. It definitely has a darker stripe, but that might just be the size or where it's sitting. Uh, um, oh, that looks like more darker rock over there than this stuff. No, could you guys leave the lounge for a sec? No, not for, I'll have it for more than a sec. Might be darters. These look like shiners because they're not really hugging the bottom, but they have definite bars on the side like darters. Like the red band I'm looking for. Well, let's see if it is. It's tiny. It is a darter. Let's hope it's not a rainbow. <laughs> the red bands are basically orange throat to an orange throat. This looks like it's one of the spot tail. Yeah, it's got three spots on the tail, not a red band. Uh, I don't even know which one is here of that sort. This is what that is. That is what this is. Not. Uh, Kind of looking like a blunt nosed minnow. And that one is kind of also, yeah, that's what these are, doggone it. They look really not this way. And that is likely a fringed, it's fringed or spot tail or whatever that group is that's here. Right, let me get back to it. Well, maybe those aren't, but they probably are. my hopes up but at least one of those that uh, was attacking this had stripes had, had very distinctive bars oh, I don't have my net with me again Hang on. that looks like a darker really small <clears throat> how did a darter manage to get it the first time my gosh oh, oh he's got it oh he popped his little head out pulled it back under but I guess he he did not hold on to it. He is really small though. It's just... Took it! Oh, actually I don't think he took it. He kicked a bunch of dust and he did not get it. About how uh, difficult it is to catch darters in the daytime. Uh, it's all because of the... Uh... Oh, this might be a darter though. It is. All right. Uh, this has got bars, but I think it's a fantail or one of yeah, it's, it's one of those it's one of that group Cotonus maybe All right, well. 
Well, the good thing about this uh, particular lurk, particular lurk, creek, this particular creek, is that there the uh, spots where there is darter habitat, very, very few spots on the spot. Oh, that's a big darter. Oh man, he's under there. And so, uh, oh, he's got it. No, no, he went back in. There he is. Get it, get it, get it. Come on. Got it. Oh, yeah, it was, he was on the hog dog. Oh, that's not good. Oh, he's coming back. There we go. He's a little darker. Oh, uh, no, same, I think. I think the, these two are just males. That's, that's where I'm seeing the bars. It's pretty cool, but not what I'm looking for. A darter way over here. Stick his hat out of this little hole here. Anyway, yeah, so the, the good thing is is that there's such a small area here that has darter rocks. It really cuts down on the possibilities. I uh, don't have to go wandering up and down the creek trying to find them. They're going to be here or they're not going to be anywhere in the area. No, leave it alone. Come on, man. Those are absolutely... This one looks like a daze. Oh, oh no, the darter got it. My gosh, these are such tiny. Just some of the... Oh. Uh-oh. He is so small, he could be anywhere. Talk on. All right, I got to find him without moving. Yeah, I Really, I'm doing some of the best tiny fish hooking that I've ever done right here. But it's... Uh, oh, wow. If I get that one, that, that's the smallest darter I've ever... I would ever come close to hooking. Bait's even too big for him, I think. Oh, oh that one might be a little bigger. I just, oh, 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 just a tiny bit slow on that one. All right, I'm just abandoning that guy. That was very promising. And then he said, screw you. Screw you guys. I'm staying here and not biting. Oh, I, I think I got one. No. Yeah. It's like it disappeared and it wasn't floating back out again. Uh, but the same. Oh, goodness. Can't it, oh, no, no, stop doing that. I have to try to get each one of them uh, well in the, here in the freaking shade. Good God. It's very cloudy today. There really isn't any sun. But you know, I thought I had four. call it fantails once once upon a time and turns out they were in fact two fantails and two uh, sooty darters uh, which I guess are now called dirty darters Wow, that's something big. It just came out of there. So much dust, I can't see anything anymore. That's a darter. It's definitely big enough to get on the hook. I would say it'd be like a green sunfish, but... <laughs> but... It's a green sunfish. Route... To the next spot on the spot saw there's some rocks here there's no very muddy and there's no current but uh oh, something's got it already but i saw something <laughs> like this stir up under the rock and it's the same thing mm. oh you gotta be kidding me there's a huge red banded darter just lying on this slab <clears throat> and the beep of the camera apparently spooked him and off he went uh, some big shiner looking fish here that I'm going to try to tempt no they don't seem interested oh, oh, oh there's a big there's one that's a red that's a red uh, stripe or red band right there he came up for it oh no stupid Frickin' minnow tug it again. Again. 
This is the advantage of fishing at night from for darters is that you don't these minnows are you have to work really hard to get a, a shiner or a minnow to bite at night. And I've done it. It just you know they generally leave your bait alone and they actually spook away from you. Ugh, at night. eyeball one. The thing is, is it, the easiest place to get them, oh there's a tiny tiny one, um, is when they're tight under the rock because the minnows and shiners are a little spooky about the edge of a rock because they know that there's crayfish under there I assume and they don't get too close to an ambush uh, predator layer like that but oh there we go there we go Oh man, this is, uh, doesn't look striped, but, or banded, but, yeah, oh, it's the same. Yeah, I'm just going to have to leave, because it's all the same darter species here, and I'm wasting my time. All right, same, and same, very same, so. 